Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea and acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body what is in the world, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com. You can pull down on the menu, on the shopping cart menu. We've got all the longevity products up there. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. All right. We have been talking about connective tissue and the intelligence behind connective tissue, the intelligence within this massive matrix that makes up 40% of the body. We're going to continue our discussion on how to keep the bulk of the body strong and robust. But today I want to take a little detour. We're going to get into some of the lesser appreciated aspects of wellness, specifically the mental and emotional components of health, and a little bit on the spiritual aspects of health as well. As those of you who, who have listened to the program in the past know, the Bright Side philosophy of health is multidimensional. And even though we largely focus on nutrition and supplementation and food and diet and exercise and the more obvious aspects of staying healthy, the physical aspects, of staying healthy. On the bright side, we recognize that the mental and emotional and spiritual aspects of health, the mental and emotional spiritual dimensions are really fundamental and primal. And without clicking on all four cylinders, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, there's no way that we can be optimally healthy. So with that in mind, it is truly an honor and a privilege to introduce to you our guest today, who's going to be on for the whole hour. This guy exemplifies the idea of multidimensionality of wellness. He's a prolific and insightful New York Times bestselling author of several really, really important books, a couple of which I've had the pleasure of reading multiple times. His work is easy to understand. It's elegant. It's profound. It's based on high-tech physics and common sense. And his books have made a powerful impact on my life personally. They sit on the most important shelf in my library, and one title in particular is so highlighted up and dog-eared. I mean, every page has got tags on it, and every page is covered with highlights. I'm working on my second copy of this book. His latest book is called The Ultimate Key to Happiness, and it is an absolute must-read for anyone who wants to up their game, even a little bit, and certainly if you're dedicated to being the best you can be and having the best life you can have, this is a book, among his other books, uh, that you absolutely want to read. So without further ado, it's my extreme pleasure to welcome to the Bright Side, Robert Scheinfeld. Good morning, Robert. Greetings, buddy. How you doing? I'm great, Ben. I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you and the comments that you just made. Well, I've got to tell you, Robert, when my producer asked me who is the one author, the one non-nutritional author that I'd like to have on the bright side, the first thing I thought of was, was Robert Scheinfeld. Get me Robert Scheinfeld. I've been following your work for years. I read uh, the first Busting Loose book, I think maybe eight years ago when it first came out, and it rocked my world. We're going to get to the latest book here in a bit, but I love the way you tie in holographic theory and, and physics with, for a lack of a better term, self-help. I don't like that term necessarily, but uh, it's appropriate here in this case. I wonder if I could get you to start off today by telling us a little bit about holography, holographic theory, and, and what is this thing you call infinite being, and how we can use these kinds of seemingly highfalutin, academic, and uh, maybe impersonal ideas to improve our ordinary, secular, down-to-earth, day-to-day lives. <laughs> a big question. Um, well, if you look at a lot of the, 
the spiritual and the self-help literature that's out there, I, I'm fond of using those two labels. Um, a lot of people have challenges, and I did for the majority of my life. I, I'm almost 57 right now, and, and what I'm about to say was the case uh, pretty much until I was maybe 46, 47. There's a lot of stuff out there um, that says, here's how it works, just do this and you can get any result. There are these magic formulas, there are these magic bullets and blah, 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 um, that didn't work for me, didn't work consistently, uh, didn't work at all, or didn't for other people. Or there wasn't an explanation for how reality, so to speak, is really constructed that made any sense to me. And I'm the kind of a person that... I need to understand the why, and I need to understand the mechanics of things. And to me, truth with a capital T is something that it's really impossible for the mind, for the intellect to ever understand. The best that we can do is to come up with models. And one of the models for how what we experience really gets created uh, that made the most sense and, and I, on a feeling intuitive kind of a level really resonated with me was the model of a hologram. And with a hologram, you have to start out with something that you really want to create. And then you have to create a specific pattern that's got all of the details of what it is that you want to create. And then you have to apply uh, a lot of power to that pattern. And then out pops this holographic image that appears to be very, very real. Now, is it real? Is a hologram is technically not real by definition, correct? No, but that's kind of a semantic thing. Um, the way I define real versus not real is to look at the creator and the created. So anything to me that is created, and that means, you know, everything related to what I call the human experience or the human created. Our bodies, our thoughts, our minds, trees, you know, buildings, the environment, all of that is created. And then there's the creator of all of it. And to me, the creator is what's real, and anything the creator creates is not. Got it. Is an illusion. It's very much like the relationship of an author of a work of fiction to everything that's in the story. You know, the author is real, but everything mm -hmm. that the author writes in the story is a story. It's fiction. Right. It's not real. So you have power plus pattern with all the specific details equals illusion equals the hologram. And there's a lot of stuff out there in self-help, spiritual and mainstream, that talks about something like that. But it implies that us as individuals, our individual brains or minds or whatever, are the ones that choose the pattern and apply the power to it. And then we can out pop whatever we want. And what I've discovered, and many people agree and many people disagree, is that that's not what's really going on. There's another intelligence, there's another energy behind the scenes, like an author is another energy, a creator behind the scenes of a work of fiction that is the one that's creating the patterns, deciding on the specific details, then applying the power that creates the illusion that we all experience as real. So are we part of this, when we talk about ourselves, are we the authors or are we the, the, create, are we the creators or the created well, let in me this ask model? You a question. Have you read the Harry Potter books? I have not. I've seen, I saw one of the movies. Okay, I'm fond of using that as an example because it, it, it's a book that most, a fiction book most people have probably heard of. So for those of you in the audience that don't know, the Harry Potter books are about a wizard um, and a world of magic, and uh, the good wizard is trying to defeat the ultimate evil wizard. And there are seven books of the story of how the good wizard and the evil wizard fight. So the main character's name is Harry Potter, and the evil wizard is named Voldemort. If you read the book, Harry Potter appears to be an individual. Voldemort, the bad wizard, appears to be an individual. And they say things, and they do things, and stuff happens. But the reality is they are all the author expressing herself creatively. The author's name is J.K. Rowling. Uh, i got to get you to hang on to that thought, Robert. We need to take a break. Hang tight, okay? Uh, we're talking to Robert Seinfeld, author of The Ultimate Key to Happiness and the Busting Loose Books, as well as several other books, New York Times bestselling author. We're coming back on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Hey. 
Hey, gang, as you can imagine, living with the moniker America's Mr. Right can be kind of tough at times. But you know what? It's easy to live up to the challenge when you're feeling good. Hi, everybody. I'm Jason Lewis, and that's why I watch what I eat and supplement my diet with great products from Longevity, like their great vitamin mineral complex drink or a protein shake or my favorite probiotic dark chocolate packed with antioxidants. You know, I love these products, and I'll bet you will, too. And now you can get them all at JasonLewisTeam.com. Now, look, these are just the things I like from Longevity, but if you're looking for, a, say, a sports drink endorsed by an NBA All-Star or a shot of Pollen Burst, the best energy drink on the market, it's all here, too. All you have to do is go to JasonLewisTeam.com or call 1-855-310-TEAM. Now, that's 1-855-310-TEAM. Get all these products and more and feel like America's Mr. Right. It's JasonLewisTeam.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now, here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Now you can get the same survival food U.S. Special Forces use on their toughest field missions. High-protein, high-energy, freeze-dried foods known as long-range patrol rations or LERPs. Soldiers love LERP rations. They're lightweight and easy to carry. Easy to prepare by just adding water. Easy to enjoy because they taste great. Civilians love LERPs as a solution for emergency preparedness and recreational activities with limited storage space, such as hiking, climbing, sailing, or RV travel. Veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy is your exclusive source for this 2013 U.S. military overrun. Long on nutrition, these delicious entrees have a long shelf life, lasting decades. But this rare opportunity, this limited supply, will not last long. You have to act now. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. Or log on now to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us, friends. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We're talking to Robert Scheinfeld, author of The Ultimate Key to Happiness and the Busting Loose series of books, as well as The Invisible Path, The 11th Element. Just a superb and wonderful self-help author. Um, Robert, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. You were, you were on a roll telling us about Harry Potter. Can you continue? Yeah, it's a tricky thing. Um, if you look at the characters in a novel, they appear to be individuals. They appear to think and feel and have um, free will and make decisions. But the reality is they are a pure creation of the author. 